The notepad. We all use notepads like these to manage our everyday business, to take notes, plan projects, brainstorm ideas. This is where the key work gets done. Echo Pro now brings you the most powerful notepads ever. Let's see how notepads work. Under the View menu, choose Notepad, then New Notepad. Give yours a name. Click OK, and you're ready to write. Enter your information in outline form, starting with the top-level issues. Not only can you plan out every detail of your daily business, but with a single click, you can integrate actions into your calendar or cross-reference them with other items of information. Next, hit Enter, and you get a new line. Press Tab to indent a line. Then, flesh out the details. To move an item, just drag the bullet up, down, left, or right. Let's switch to another notepad for a bigger picture of the possibilities. It's a full detailed outline. Easy to reorganize this information. Just drag and drop to suit your needs. Just want to see the top level ideas again? Under Item, choose Show Level, click on Two, or use the shortcut, Control-2. There are lots of other options here to help you manage your notes. For example, you can use Item Split and Join to divide or combine lines of information. Let's see how else we can harness Echo's power to fully utilize information. We talked earlier about Echo's ability to let you easily cross-reference information. This can be done through the use of columns just like a spreadsheet. For example, you can use columns to track priorities, mark something as done, or assign dates for action. Enter a date for an item, and the item will appear in the calendar on that date. Echo has many predefined date columns, such as to-dos, start dates, and due dates, which will display information in the calendar. Let's add a to-do column to our notepad using an existing column. Under the column menu, choose Insert Columns, then Existing Column or Folders. Pick To-dos. And let's also add a column to Assign Responsibility. Again, choose the Insert Column, but this time choose New Pop-up List. Head this column Responsibility and we'll add names. Joe, Mary, Jill. Now, we can go to any item, assign a date in the to-dos, and assign a responsibility to, let's say, Mary. Now, Switch to the calendar. Go to June 15th, and there's our item. Notice, if I change it here, it will also change it back in the notepad. That's the beauty of Echo. Enter your information or changes once, and it's automatically updated everywhere it appears. This notepad is extremely powerful, and we haven't even finished yet. Seems like every project we work on results in dates changing, and we need to update that schedule again. Fortunately, it's a snap in Echo. Select a series of items and choose Move Items Dates. Specify the number of days they should be moved, and Echo moves them all for you. Sometimes, you may want to see more than one notepad at once, or maybe see the calendar as you work on a notepad. 
for that, you can create composite views, different views, in one window. View up to four at a time in a permanent view. An easy way to add or remove a view is just to right-click on its tab. It's also easy to drag information from one view to another. The information is now in both places. And again, change it in one place, and it's changed in every other view. Let's go back to that project we were working on again and check out how Echo lets you see just what you want. For that, there's a great Echo tool called Filters, which lets you select what you want displayed. For example, you may just want to see your high priorities, or maybe you just want to see only Mary's project. Under the Tools menu, choose Filter View, then New. The first time you use this, you'll see the Simple Filter dialog. Choose the Responsibility column. Select the Equals operator. Then select Mary from the Value field. Let's also name this filter Mary to use it again. Immediately, the view displays Mary's task. Pretty simple. Now, we're going to show you how to easily build some advanced filters. This time, I want to see Mary and Joe's work, but only their high priority. Again, choose Tools, Filter, New. Choose Advanced. We'll add lines for Mary or Joe. And then choose High Priority Items. Let's call this Mary Jo High. By the way, you can always tell what filter you're using by looking at the bottom left of the screen. And whenever you want to switch off a filter, go back to the filter menu and choose Ignore. Here's another tip from the Echo team. You can put icons on your toolbar with the names of those filters, so they're only a click away. Here's how I'd put Mary's filter on the bar. Go to the Filter menu again and select Mary. On the right side of the toolbar is the Echo Icon Repeat button, which shows icons for every Echo command you've chosen. There's Mary's icon. So use the right mouse button to drag the icon onto the toolbar and use it whenever you want. Thanks, JR. We mentioned before how important it is for many people to track time and expenses. Echo gives you an organized way of tracking and calculating your costs, hours, and expenses. You can set different rates for clients and activities, categorize expenses for easier bookkeeping, use billing numbers to track orders and jobs, or quickly calculate billings for a particular client or expenses for a particular period. The first time you select Time and Expenses from the Tools menu, Echo creates a new Time and Expenses notepad view and adds several new columns to help you track your information. From the tabs in the lower part of the screen, click on Time and Expenses. Notice the columns to record expenses, such as billable hours and expense amount. Let's go back to our earlier project and record expenses for one of those items. First, select the item. From Tools, choose View Item by Form, and choose Expenses. Always begin by checking Expenses Due. This tells Echo to include the item when you look at the Time and Expense view. Then fill out the billable hours, and the amount of any expenses incurred. The rest of the fields are optional. If you're capturing the expense of any appointment or logged activity, such as a phone call, Echo picks up the duration of the appointment or the call as billable time. Let's switch to the time and expense view. And there's that item and associated expenses. Now, to calculate the expense, choose Tools, Time and Expenses. 
Then select which items to calculate, and Echo does the rest for you. So with Echo's time and expenses, you can capture expense for any item wherever it is, calendar, phone book, or notepad. We covered many different areas in the notepad, outlining, cross-referencing, adding columns, and much, much more. If you're on a network, all this information can be shared with others. And the Echo Notepad is an extremely powerful business tool, a great reason to switch from paper.